You get uh, you get presented with a lot of interesting opportunities though at college. Um, one of my first experiences ever, I was hanging out on campus, and this woman came up to me and she was like, "Hey, would you like to be on the rowing team? Because you'd make a great coxswain." <laughs> yeah, and at first I thought she was insulting me, you know, like the opposite of a pickup line, like a put down line. Like you're like Lance Armstrong, you've only got one ball, you know, <laughs> and um, so I was like, "Listen here, woman, you'd make a good coxswain." And she was like, no, I, I want to know if you want to be on the rowing team. And I was like, well, why would I want to be on the rowing team? Is it because of my rippling muscles? Is it because I look like a seaman? And she was like, nope. You're so small and tiny. We want you to sit on the end of the boat and tell the other people what to do. You don't row at all. You're called the coxswain. And I must say, I think I would make a great coxswain because I'm great at sitting on my ass and telling other people what to do, which coincidentally is the same job that every manager I've ever had has had. So, and I'm management material, just in case you didn't know. Um, but the only reason I didn't do it, other than I didn't really want to, is because of that name, coxswain, right? It's so, it's so insulting. It's like a bunch of rowers got together and like, hey, what should we call that douchebag who sits at the end of the boat and yells at us? Carpet muncher or jizz tissue. Uh... Oh, I got it. How about coxswain? It's not as blunt, but it still sounds terrible. It's up there with like Harry Potter is like the worst name ever, right? This guy is supposed to be the most magical, majestical wizard ever, and his name is Harry Potter? That's terrible. He's got a lightning bolt on his forehead. You'd think they call him Johnny Thunder or something. <laughs> Harry Potter. Who here has uh, seen the new Harry Potter movie? Anybody out there? Yeah. Wasn't it weird when Harry and Voldemort had a baby? <laughs> What's up with that? I may have seen a different movie than you guys saw. I'm surprised that so many people like Harry Potter. It's so weird that he's so famous and stuff because Harry Potter is exactly like that guy that you hated in high school, right? He's the most popular guy in school. Everybody knows him, right? He's a total jock. He's the star of the Critics team, right? <laughs> people always relying on him. Oh, Harry, you're so great, Harry. Save us, Harry. Tackle my owl, Harry. <laughs> He's got the coolest broom. He's always bragging about it. Oh yeah, I got a SP350 V8 66 millimeter turbo Nimbus 2000. I just put chrome bristles on it, man. I am riding. Always bragging about his long wand, how it puts girls under a spell. Hey, ladies, here's a fun fact for you. The guys who brag about their big penises probably have the smallest ones. Yeah, I've been in a locker room. I've seen stuff, not on purpose, but you know. Sometimes it happens. Ladies, does size really matter? Yeah, it matters like the size of your breasts matter. Yeah. Not to make you ladies feel even more self-conscious about yourselves or anything. 